now we are done um, with the with the most important aspects um, of making the InDesign document uh, more accessible and be able to create an, ex an attack PDF file. Um, save, did I, I saved it. Uh, yeah. um, and now this is a feature where you can actually also export the InSign document to PDF. It's mostly the same as uh, the Save as PDF or the Export to, to PDF feature. Uh, here you can say I want to export this to, to PDF. We're actually using the interactive version. We are not using the export to print PDF export feature. And the main reason is that at least beginning with uh, InDesign CS6, you can also put form fields on the InDesign document. And you can export them also into the tag PDF, but only going through the uh, interactive PDF way. Because for the print PDF export, uh, form fields are either left out or they are flattened and become part of the page content. They are not interactive anymore. So uh, let me look at the InDesign export dialog first. Um, so it's the usual <coughs> stuff. Um, some of the options are just options that depend on what the document is like, whether you want to export pages or spreads, uh, whether you want to look at the document right afterwards in, in Acrobat, whether you want to uh, page uh, thumbnails and so on. It's all not, not really relevant to accessibility. There are options to define what the default view is if you open the document in Acrobat and the layout, the arrangement of the pages in, in the Acrobat viewer. My recommendation is to always leave this as, as the, uh, at the default value because you can set up your personal preferences in Acrobat and some people like it this way and some people like it the other way. And I always recommend not to enforce something on people. If they don't like, uh, let's say, single page continuous because they prefer <coughs> single page not continuous, let them do so. It's not up to me as a document creator to force something onto them. Um, never use these presentation settings for accessible files. Um, who of you knows right away how to make the menu show up again when it was disabled by the open options in uh, PDF? So you turn the open a PDF and the menu is hidden. So what's the shortcut in Acrobat to... Yeah. And everybody else is like this. And I, I have one source of PDF documents when they send me the PDFs. They, I don't know why, but they always set the open options to hide the menu. <laughs> I think it's Command Shift M, but it doesn't matter. But what I do is I close the document because that always works. Then I look up the shortcut, then open the document again and apply the shortcut. <laughs> Hmm? Yeah, so just don't do it. Uh, so the, the middle section here is, is, is around uh, presentation mode, where it opens the full screen and uh, advances on its own and so on. Forms and media, uh, you should include all. If, if you have them, they're probably relevant to the document, form fields and, and so on. Uh, and of course, create the tag PDF. Um, and that should also be checked. That's a very specific detail. It's about tabbing order for form fields, for example. And there's a couple of uh, mechanisms how you can establish the order. You could go top left, bottom right. Um, there's something else that I've forgotten. And you could say, well, if there is tagging structure, just look at the tagging structure. So even if the rightmost form field is the first in the tagging structure, go there first, and then go to the left one, and then go to the next one. So, and I could create the... Um, <coughs> um, a tag PDF right away. Unfortunately, no. And that's kind of, that's not good. Yeah. So, uh, it's, everybody is complaining. And I still don't see why they don't, do not put these options inside the other PDF export dialog. They could just add an, another tab and yeah, I know. We are specializing in this. So, Made to Print, which is one of our other products, is going to have a feature that lets you 
do this in a, in a fashion that you can have presets. Um, uh, the image handling, of course, is whatever you need for your workflow. Uh, one important piece of advice in, in one of my last seminars, a person was saying, well, I can set the image resolution to, to uh, 15. Because blind people don't see anything anyway. I get very small PDF files. Of course, it's important to understand there are other people than blind people <laughs> with accessibility <laughs> needs. <laughs> So just choose something that's useful. And actually, um, a low vision person may, may use special tools, like either a, a physical uh, magnifying glass uh, or just the, the, what I'm using here. Yeah? Um, and it makes sense to have enough pixels there so that you can still look at it in a, in a meaningful fashion. So um, oh, it doesn't even let me go below 72, to, but anyway. So do something that makes sense also for, for normal users. And uh, especially if you have screenshots, for example, you need at least 150 to really make it show up nicely. Uh, I've recently seen a brochure uh, for disabled people with a screenshot from the website, and I could not read it because well, the resolution was too low. <laughs> um, and then you choose the, the compression options depending on what it is. If, if, if bandwidth is a problem and you have to make the file really small, you will have a lower value. If you want to enable people to, to print it on their home laser printer in 600 dpi, you make it larger. But one thing, and I, I really lost a couple of days of my precious uh, lifetime uh, more than one and a half years ago. You could do this, and then you wonder why is important information not showing up? Why is it not doing what I wanted to do? It is because this check, box ha this check mark has to be set to make all the work in the articles panel relevant. And when Adobe introduced this article panel in CS55, I was trying it out. I was creating a very complicated article, like in this document. And the tagging order was different. The tagging order was the automatic tagging order, top left to bottom right. So if I ask for a tag PDF, I don't do anything with the tagging panel, with the article panel. InDesign tries to guess what the order is and then just put tag in there. And I was changing something in the article panel, I was changing something else, no effect. So this is very important. And by default, if, if you launch InDesign for the first time, it's not checked. And you can check, if you have no document open, you can check it once and then it will be checked. But essentially, if you, if you get a document from somebody else, the setting will be in the document. So if that person did not check it, it's not checked on your system either. And then you have to go there again and check it anyway. So before you go to save interactive PDF or tag PDF, make sure this check mark is set. And is it something that you can force to be checked? Yeah, using MetaTag meta -tag sets it. Okay. So we do it. Excellent. But just in case you don't have MetaTag on the machine, I just wanted to warn you and, and spare you lost days of your precious <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> Yeah, especially if you, if you if you teach other people to do this, yeah, and, and then you forget to mention this, they go home, they try it out for one day, and it's not working. Yeah, they think, yeah, the training was crap. Yeah. So we we set it automatically. Yeah. But um, so, and we also do a lot of other things. So there are some things where InDesign doesn't do a perfect job, and we try to fix it. So. Um, I will click on create PDF in just a moment, but what it actually will do, it, it will use the InDesign mechanism to export to interactive PDF using the right settings. Um, and then it will do post-processing. So it will take the exported PDF file and process it some more using actually technology from color software, um, fix a few things, and then you have the final PDF file. So in this case, I'm, I'm asking for spreads. I want to view it after exporting, um, and I create my PDF file. I just put uh, Carco here, so you know it's the right one. Am I in the right folder? Yeah. So saving to this using InDesign and uh, processing and then opening up in Acrobat. 